SHOT Show 2017 at CZ USA. I'm here with Zach. How are you doing? Doing great. Uh, so one that I want to show off today is our, our 805 bread. Uh, this is a piston driven uh, 223 and new for 2017 we're doing 300 blackout. Um, one of the big things we've seen from customers is the demand for suppressor ready guns and chamberings like the 300 blackout for the folks who want to run a suppressor. So we're doing both the carbine, the full length version of this gun, and we're also doing a pistol for those people who want to SBR it. So uh, with a 11 inch barrel, 300 blackout, and an SBR, it makes a heck of a two stamp gun. Uh, doing those in black or FDE, it's about a $2,000 gun. If you haven't shot a Bren, they are a smooth running gun. Uh, between a really effective uh, compensator on the front and then just basically the gas driven system, it is a sweet shooter. Um, kind of transitioning along on also uh, 300 blackout gun. We have our 527, which is one of our bolt guns. So it's a, a sweet little micro Mauser action. So it's got a, a claw extractor, um, controlled round feed. This is kind of a favorite action in our line. Uh, we're doing it in a suppressor ready version this year. So it's 300 blackout or 762 by 39, which 762 has always been a really popular chambering in these guns for us. So we're, we're pretty happy to add two different versions uh, to the one that we already had. So we'll have three different versions you can choose from if you want to shoot 7.62 with 3.9, and they're built to run steel case surplus ammo. Very cool. Did you see what the capacities were on those? Um, it's a five round mag. It's a, it's a single stack. It's kind of a an old school gun. This action is one of our, uh, basically a favorite. Um, okay. Been around forever. We do it in a ton of different chamberings. Another new one, uh, new chambering for us this, this year in that gun is a 6.5 Grendel, which uh, that will be my new go-to hunting rifle. And then kind of sticking with that suppressor ready theme, uh, we've got our 455 Scout. So we've had the 452 Scout for a very long time, a great first rifle for a kid uh, and a gun that's going to be a tack driver and really last for generations. Uh, the 455 version basically picks up where the 452 left off and makes it easy for that kid to transition to you know, adulthood. Swapping into a, a, an adult size stock on this gun just takes two, you know, two action screws and swapping the stock on. On a 452, you kind of had to do a little bit of, a little bit of home gunsmithing to make a full size stock fit. So not only can you swap this to a bigger stock when the kid's ready, uh, the 455 system allows you to swap out the barrels. So you can go to go to a longer American barrel. You could go to a varmint barrel and then put it in a varmint stock. Um, you get a really crisp set of iron sights, a single shot adapter, so you can kind of teach kids ammo conservation it'll take five round ten round 25 round mags and then the best part is it's threaded for a suppressor because there's absolutely no better way to teach a kid how to shoot uh, you don't have to get them in a big set of muffs you throw some eye protection on and just go so um, for folks who are wanting to get a gun that will you know it'll last for generations you're, you're gonna be able to improve this gun make it fit a kid as they're getting older and older put it into 17 HMR 22 mag um, it's just all built into the modularity of the 455. So uh, if you want information on any of these rifles, head over to cz-usa.com, find it all there. Cool. Hey, uh, I want to get into one of your pistols as well, so let's head over there. Sure. All right, so we have a couple of other uh, uh, pistols that are new for us this year. So this is the P10C. Uh, this is CZ's uh, first striker fire gun in quite some time. Uh, we basically studied what was on the market, figured out how we could make them all better. So uh, the standout thing on these guns is the trigger. Um, four and a half pound trigger. It's a, got a flat face to it. Um, a bit of take up, a nice solid uh, wall, four and a half pound break, and a really short reset. Um, also ergonomics. This thing doesn't feel like a 2 by 4 in your hand. It's uh, got the CZ75 grip angle. It's got a mild palm swell to it. Uh, pretty aggressive texturing that you know you could take down if you wanted to, but it fits. It, it sits in your hand really, really nice. Um, it's got a good undercut to the trigger guard. A nice deep beaver tail. Uh, you're not ever going to get a slide bite on this gun. Um, got a little bit of a scallop, so if you did have a stuck mag, you could rip it free. Three different back strap sizes, ambidextrous controls, so an ambi slide stop, ambi mag release, um, a good set of iron sights. You've got three dot iron sights. The uh, we're going to do it in three different versions right out of. 
of the gate, a standard black gun, this FDE gun that will come with night sights, and then a black gun with a threaded barrel and high night sights to kind of clear most suppressors. Um, one of the great things about this gun is the MSRP. Um, standard black models start at about $499. Um, FDE with night sights goes up a little bit, but really it's an affordable gun. Um, $499 and MSRP is very, very competitive. And street price on it would be great too. So it might be a little hard to get because we're getting a lot of a lot of interest, a lot of demand. We should start rolling with those guns late this month. Um, so they, they'll start showing up in distribution, but they're going to disappear real fast. Right. So we'll, we'll get we'll get regular shipments. It's just a matter of getting them as fast as we can. I'll get on a list or something. Yeah, for sure. Get on get on a pre-order or a, you know just a notification list. Yeah. Another one that's going to be big for us this year is the Shadow Two. So uh, our guns are really really popular in the in the competition circuits. Uh, this this SPO One Shadow has been dominating in USPSA production. Uh, when you look at the stats from nationals, it's we're something like 40%. When you have a lot of guns to choose from, most folks are choosing ours. So this is a gun that's built from the ground up to, to really dominate that division. So you start with a, a start from scratch. You end up with a, a grip that is much higher in the gun. So you got a deeper cut in the beaver tail, an undercut trigger guard, really aggressive checkering, and that gets your hand way up high in the gun and as close to that bore axis as possible. You got a really good trigger. It's a DASA gun. Uh, they've lengthened the slide, lengthened the frame, and left as much weight up here as they can just to just to make it shoot a little flatter. Uh, so it's a, it's a nice heavy gun, got a great set of iron sights. Uh, it's a height adjustable rear, serrated to knock down glare, and then a fiber optic front. Uh, you've got a great sight radius, really good trigger pull. Um, uses standard SP01 mags, um, and that thing is gonna be awesome. We're gonna have three different versions. Uh, price starts at $12.99 for the, uh, the all nitride with the blue grips, $13. So uh, pretty affordable, and even compared to the older version, it's it's coming in at a great price point. So uh, if you need any more information on the CZ pistols, rifles, shotguns, any of that stuff, head over to CZ-USA.com. We've got it all there for you. Excellent. There's so much more we could talk about, but we're going to stop it there for CZ USA SHOT Show 2017.